Hello and welcome to Algebra. Today we're going to look a little bit more at our 7-5 lesson rational exponents and radicals going back and forth between the two different forms. Okay, so when we look at our rational exponent, you notice the rational, the fraction, the exponent, uh, the radical form, and yesterday or the uh, previous lesson we saw that um, we had the skateboarder in sort of the weird position and of course you transformed back and forth between the two different forms. So we're going to see this a little bit differently now. We're going to take the radical form and go back to the rational exponent form. Now you need to understand that anytime you have nothing here, that number is understood to be a 2. Just like when you have, um, say, 5, it's understood you don't have to say plus 0. If you have x, it's understood you don't have to say to the first power. The same sort of thing. So it is just understood, it's tacitly understood that, hey, there's supposed to be a 2 there. So, there's a 2 here. Inside, again, x is to the first power, y is to the first power, and this is inside, outside. So this is x to the 1 half, y to the 1 half. And that's all there is to it. In this one, we're going to have to do a little bit more work. 81 is to the first power, x is to the second power, Inside, outside, so 81 to the 1 fourth power, x to the 2 fourths power. Now the thing is in this one, there's a little bit more work to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 81 and I'm going to break it into its prime numbers and see if there's anything that can be done with this. So 81, let's see, 2 doesn't go into it, 8 plus 1 is 9, so 3 goes into 9, so 3 goes into 81, 3 goes into 8. So 3 times 27, 3 into 21 goes 7 times, 3 goes into 27 9 times, 3 times 3 gives you 9. And so you have your 4 factors here, and you would break your factor tree into prime numbers. Make sure they are prime numbers, 3 times 3 times 9, that's not going to cut it, you have to have prime numbers. Only 1 and the number itself will go into that number, divide into it. So we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. It says for every 4 I see, pick one of them out. For every 4 you see, pull one out. So I see 4 3's. I can pull one of them out. So this is 3. And of course, x to the 2 fourths is still there. Now to the 2 fourths, that's not reduced. So we're going to go ahead and reduce 2 fourths, divide by 2. And this is 3x to the 1 half power. And that's it we are done. 